while reading or answering any queries about glomerular disorders if you know two basic query two basic principles that would make your life much easier the principle number 1 is this that glomerular disorders they basically present in three ways there are three characteristic presentation of glomerular disorders are there mostly one is nephrotic syndrome another is nephritic syndrome another is uh, isolated hematuria these are not specific diagnoses please keep it in mind but some glomerular diseases let's say minimal chain disease or membranous nephropathy or focal segmental glomerular sclerosis or diabetes mellitus or amyloidosis these diseases primarily present with nephrotic syndrome similarly there are certain diseases which primarily present glomerular disorders are there which primarily present with nephritic syndrome uh it's post infectious glomerular nephritis like example post streptococcal glomerular nephritis ig nephropathy can also present lupus nephritis can also present ct glomerulopathy can present so these are the diseases which usually present with nephritic syndrome and even if you understand deeply uh, rpg and rapidly progressive glomerular nephritis is also a severe form of nephritic syndrome and the third way glomerular disorders can present is the isolated hematuria for example it could even uh, ig nephropathy can also present with isolated hematuria uh, another disease like basement thin basement membrane disease can present with isolated hematuria so once you know this thing that certain glomerular disorders present with nephrotic certain with nephritic and certain is uh, isolated hematuria that would help you to train your brain into think uh, think in this way that this, this will help you to narrow down your list of differential diagnoses uh for example give, let me give an example if the if i ask you that let's say there is a 46 year old male who is presenting with peripheral edema and massive proteinuria more than 3.5 gram per day so you would be thinking that this is going towards nephrotic syndrome so your primary focus would be on those diseases which actually present with nephrotic syndrome for example this is membranous nephropathy or fsgs this is too old 46 year old but nephrotic syndrome can be with uh minimal chain disease also so this is the way actually you need to focus that what is the presentation and next the step number 2 is you need to know the the characteristic identification features on the biopsy particularly for each individual disease that would help you to pinpoint the diagnosis uh and you know that glomerular disorders actually there are three step diagnosis usually on the pathology we see first is light microscopic diagnosis which is usually done by hematoxyl neosin and we also use some special stains like silver stain and ps particularly to look for glomerular basement membrane second uh, we do immunofluorescence uh, for example iga nephropathy can be detected only by immunofluorescence because iga deposition we are looking in the messenger and third thing which is also done diagnostic purpose also electron microscopy electron microscopy is the basic purpose is this that actually we are trying to look at the many things like we can look at the exact thickness of the glomerular basement membrane but also we look at that where is this immune complex deposition occurs because many of these glomerular diseases glomerular disorders are immune complex mediated so are they located beneath the endothelium sub endothelially are they located beneath the food processes of podocytes or epithelial cell which is called sub epithelial deposition so sub epithelial sub endothelial location exactly where these immune complexes are getting deposited that we are trying to look at which would help you to make a diagnosis so first you need to know at which way the glomerular disorder is going what are your narrowed list of differential diagnoses is it a presentation with nephrotic or nephritic or with uh, isolated hematuria second thing depending on the further uh details provided in your question you can actually figure it out that uh what kind of specific disease is that so let me proceed with that previous thing which i was telling i told you that a 46 year old male is presenting with uh peripheral edema and 4.2 g per day proteinuria so this is basically case is going towards nephrotic syndrome and it's an adult now if i add two three more lines in this question let's say that the renal biopsy shows there is a diffuse thickening of the glomerular basement membrane and it shows spikes on the silver stain and it shows sub epithelial deposition in electron microscopy ultrastructurally of immune complex deposits these are characteristic feature of membranous nephropathy and membranous nephropathy presents usually with uh 
nephrotic syndrome in adults so so first when i read this thing let's if you summarize that we read this thing that a 46 year old male who is presenting with peripheral edema is presenting with massive proteinuria you you should train your train your brain that this is going towards nephrotic syndrome so you already know that what are the causes of nephrotic syndrome typically the primary causes of nephrotic syndrome in children is minimachian disease and in adult there are two membranous nephropathy or focal segmented lumosus now if the further things which are provided that is characteristic of in this case it is characteristic of membranous nephropathy because membranous nephropathy usually on light microscopy shows diffuse thickening of the glomerular capillary wall it shows uh, presence of the sub epithelial location of immune complex deposit so and also silver stain we can say spike spike and dome appearance is characteristic of this so if you think in this way it makes very simple for you to figure it out in glomerular disorder step 1 just look at that the what is the presentation is the presentation with nephrotic syndrome or nephritic syndrome or with isolated hematuria and second thing depending on the diseases which commonly present with nephrotic nephritic or isolated hematuria you look at that what are the diagnostic features are provided if the diagnostic features are provided you know for a particular disease definitely they would give you for a particular disease then it you can easily figure it out that what is the disease let me give you another example in another context which you uh, make you easy make it easy for you let's say i give you that that a uh, seven year old boy who is presenting with hematuria uh, presence of periorbital edema uh, milder version of proteinuria and there is a previous history of the streptococcal infection so already you know that this is nephritic syndrome and is going towards the the asotitis are elevated let this let's say they provide it So now you know that this is a nephritic syndrome, and obviously from the history you can figure it out that this is a post-streptococcal dome nephritis. This is the way actually you need to think about respective uh, problems on the glomerular disorder. Thank you so much.